Windows updated <laughs> and screwed our world up. I, I don't know what to tell you. It's just, I have no idea. It does not make any sense whatsoever. But it doesn't matter. We're live now. Hopefully the other video isn't still going. <laughs> yeah, it mm-hmm. could be. But, no. um, it stopped. Here we go. So there was some mistake that came up, and we went live for a couple minutes, but we're good now. There we go. So, Bob H., how you doing? Who are we having live today? We got, we got quite a few people on to get started there. online right now. The first one was... Tom R. Tom R. Then First Eric was in. I saw Eric that. was number two. Yep. Scotch for geniuses is in. Chad Adams. Adams. Telex. Looks like we got a few. So, Sim- um, simple diversions. Chihuahua. Welcome, guys. Well, before we get Steve started, okay. happy Thursday, everybody. Happy, happy Thursday. Thursday. Happy Thursday to you. Cheers, guys. Mm. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That tastes like Thursday right there. <laughs> So, uh, you might notice the Mark's not here, so we all get to talk tonight. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> you guys that. I, I can say that because Mark is, the Mark is not here to uh, basically defend himself. Defend himself. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't care about that. Right <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> it's uh, open that Deanston P- 10PX yet? Why, yes, yes we, we did, did Bob. <laughs> In fact, we reviewed it last night. We did. Yep. It, it got pretty low scores. All around, right? Yeah, it, was yeah, like, it, was it was like one and a half. I mean, it was unbelievable. Pretty terrible. <laughs> so, uh, uh, the sound is down low. Huh? Can we crank it up a little bit? What? What? That should be all we need to do. All right. So, uh, what did we release this week? This oh, week the Singleton. Released. That's yeah. right. Which, you know, I think for an everyday dram, not a bad bottle. For 30 bucks. Exactly. 30, 35 bucks? No, you need to tell your corporate yeah. story. Though. Tell us how we ended up with this bottle. <laughs> this is a pretty good story. I just happened to be at one of my local grocery stores right after work to pick up something. And I always peruse. I don't know about you guys. Yep. No matter if I'm there for lettuce, shredded lettuce, I'm going to the liquor department just to take a look. <laughs> just I, we just all to do. see yeah, if yeah. something, because oh, something like this may maybe happen. show up. Yep. <laughs> and I'm walking through and I see this little, I see the tags and at my Kroger. And there was a clearance tag on a bottle, so I looked at it, and the clearance tag said five dollars and thirty nine cents. I'm like, really? And it was the Singleton. I didn't believe it, so I picked one up. I went over to one of the registers that was like right close in the food area, the deli or whatever. I was like, told the guy, I was like, can you price check this for me? Because I don't know if I don't, I don't know if it, the tag's right. And he scanned it, and he's like, $5.39. I was like, oh, okay, thank you. I'll take 10. So the first thing I did, <laughs> I went and picked up three bottles. <laughs> there was more than that, and I probably realistically bucks. should have just bought them out. But I knew a buddy of mine that I work with that likes scotch. So when I went back, I, I told him. and then But he ended up going to a different Kroger. That also and had it on sale? Also had it on sale, and he bought five bottles. So, See, you could have bought them out. It would have so, been fine. Nobody and now I go there, and it says sale price $31.99. The normal price. The normal price. Where it's like normally yeah, thirty nine ninety nine, and then that, it's on so sale for 30 That is why you always have to walk by the whiskey yes. aisle. So because you may I don't get care if you have to pick thing. up an apple. <laughs> <laughs> go to the liquor department. <laughs> hang out for a little bit. Peruse. And don't, don't check it out. 
think they're judging you when you buy one apple and three bottles of scotch. Because <laughs> <laughs> so. sometimes that's just how it works, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, so Bob ordered three more bottles of Deanston 10 PX cast just because. That stuff's ridiculous. It really, it is really good. is. We are, I am for sure, but I think we are in general on a Deanston Which one is that high. one? Uh, down here somewhere. I think it's on the... Oh, we took it out of the box because Mark took the box. I think it's down on the bottom. No, not there. It uh, was next to the Tam dude. did he take it? There it is. Yep. Deanston 10. We, we haven't hit it too hard. Kind of that will be coming out uh, in two weeks. There you go. Okay. Drew's been working on uh, oh stuff. Oh my gosh, we have We've a hoagie bear sighting. Holy cow. Hoagie bear sighting. Hoagie? Wheel house to hoagie. Wheel house to hoagie. I haven't seen that guy in a long time. So, nice. what, one thing that I, I need to talk to, to hoagie about, and I haven't really talked to communicate with him in a long yeah, time, yeah. that when, right. when we first heard. started this, ho hoagie bear was one of our you know, first really active um, listeners. He actually had him on the, the screen behind us one time. And he was like, oh, I love everything. It's above 46%. I'm like, oh, come on. You're just being picky. There's no reason that 46% is that great. There's nothing magical about it. Well, yeah. There's, Turns out it's there, magical. There, there, there really is <laughs> magical about it. That that, what, all of us have gotten to the point where that 46% just gives you that extra uh, leg to stand on because you can, you can mess with your, with your whiskey a lot better that way. And, it's Make it the way you want it. And it's got more potency of flavor and all that. So we have to maybe bow down to Hoagie's wisdom. <laughs> and as we learn from others, that's why we're dummies. We're learning from everyone. Always yeah. learning. I mean, yes. like every time we review something, I just think I'm still an idiot with all this stuff. I am. I mean, but it's like you learn something every time. Yep. And then when you go talk to somebody that doesn't know scotch, you're like, yeah, I still don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but I can fake it better I than feel some like people. I can fake it better than anybody else. <laughs> So uh, we got some coins that are on a, a tour of Scotland right now. That's so cool. We've got we actually have a few people doing pictures now. One in particular, uh, Gregor, I think is his G name. G right? McWee. Yeah, uh, he Instagram. is. He's doing Isla Tour. I think he's on Isla. I've seen mm -hmm. Bowmore. I've seen uh, Ardbeg. I've seen Kilhoman. Kilhoman. Lagavulin. Yep. Yep. Um, pretty awesome pictures. I'm actually, I've got a bunch of them. I'm going to start posting them here and there just to put them out there because it, it's too and awesome we've, to we've share. Sure, we have at least one on Facebook, right? That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Actually, I'm working on, I, I sent, uh, <laughs> I sent Trooper an email uh, <laughs> today hilarious. hoping like, I'm going to give him a coin and uh, hopefully we can get some shots from him. But, yeah. Uh, so, uh, but it's, it's actually kind of cool to see him on location and you know, next to a dram or whatever. It's so, so seeing it next to a freaking real distillery sign is like that's so cool. It's yeah, like it's legit. I, I was liking it. To, it's like flat Stanley. It's like you you take this. We're taking us with you everywhere you go. Yep. Your challenge coin. Tap it. Who's gonna buy you? Who's gonna buy around? Yep. So what else we got going on, guys? Let's see who all's on here. So I noticed somebody. Somebody Lee. noticed our hats. Yes. The. Uh, He's on. Lee is on. Yeah, Lee. There we go. So, yes, while. we do have some new hats. We are prototyping some new different hat styles, uh, trying to find good quality embroidery, good quality hats at an affordable price. So yep. we're kind of doing some... We're experimenting some, right now, but we will have hats soon on the... Very likely side. with this, roughly this logo on it. May have to do some tweaking, maybe prototype the hat. That's, so that's why just, we prototype. This is why they're here, yeah. So yep. one thing I think is going back to the picture thing, I think it'd be kind of cool if if you have some coins from us right now. I would love for you to put it right next to your glass of what you're drinking, and post it on our Facebook page and say, "Hey, I'm drinking this tonight." With How do you picture. post it awesome. on your Facebook page? Is it just sent a message? You yeah. ask me, just send a message. You just you tag us. Post. If you just tag us, we should post it on our page. Okay. Through our page. You know what? I'll do this. I'll send a picture, and you can reply and comment on it. How about that? I, it shouldn't be an issue, but I don't. Really understand We're just, I'm trying to educate the people. Facebook is uh, because you bring it up, and I went to your page. You could be a and Russian troll. Why do you gotta yes. give me a hard time? Right <laughs> and now? we didn't do our. It just asked. Drinking Deanston. <laughs> do we need to post Deanston. what are you drinking pictures and, and then you go? That's what there? I'm thinking right okay. now. Instead of drinking, instead of what you're drinking, we're gonna do a little. Lee is drinking Oban Distillers Edition. I'll start the corn off. Give me Beat that. Place. You got a stretch, man. What are you doing? I got a lean in. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> I 
Vince Phillips. That's nice. That's a picture. Kind of picture kind of in there. So? Yeah. You got this? I feel no. I feel like you don't have this. I don't have <laughs> So while Drew's uh, adjusting his uh, here to photography you. stuff, that may be entertaining, actually, depending on what goes on back there, right? <laughs> uh, but we had a, uh, a care package delivered this week. We, we should probably talk about that did a little you? bit. So uh, one of our viewers, who I believe is on tonight, uh, Scotch for Geniuses, Yes. Uh, sent us a little little care package, which we totally appreciate. Oh my god! Um, so he was nice enough to send us three bottles, uh, one of which we're having it's a sip of right now. Um, so he was kind enough to send us a one of our our favorites, uh, the Glen Grant sixteen. Wow! Uh, big fan of this bottle. Great bottle. Uh, not quite as good as the fifty. But still pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect? That fifty. So you're it, complaining. It probably could taste like Absolutely crap. not. I love this bottle. <laughs> uh, and then what else we got back there from him? Uh, that one is pretty awesome. So we got the Spice Tree Extravaganza. Uh, so I'm actually pretty excited about this bottle. Yeah. Um, I'm actually uh, not gonna lie. I'm almost disappointed we have to open this one up because mm -hmm. uh, it's it's a cool one. Uh, so we'll be doing a review of this probably in, in the next week or two. Yeah, yeah, uh, but so we'll sure. get that posted as soon as we can. But mm -hmm. that's going to be an exciting bottle, and I can't yeah, wait to can't, try it. We can't have a show. Um, and then Mike it's up on the... Yeah, he, yeah, and, then, and, then, and then this this one, Michael, look. <laughs> a little bottle of Kibokin. <laughs> which, is, which is always welcome. Which is what... Which is, which is what Made bourbon again because he, kind of, he kind of turned to the dark side. And, and since Kibokin, he was, yeah, it's good. It is good. <laughs> I'm a, I love bourbon, but Kabokin's damn good. It is pretty tasty stuff. So since he was kind enough to send us those three bottles, we decided that we would purchase a bottle um, that he has been clamoring for us to review for a while. So I uh, I picked this one up today. I called uh, my, I one of my liquor distributors and, and had him bring this one out for me. So, Glenfiddich 21 year rum cask finish. Hell yes. So, so, this one just came onto the bar this afternoon. We're looking forward to this. It's got a front and a back. Holy cow. So, the funny thing is that the Scotch, the Scotch for Geniuses, every time he comments, if you've ever read any of our comments, and we, we go through every comment that, that goes on the video, every time he comments, it'll, it'll finish it with. Glenfiddich 21 Rum Cask. No matter what he's saying, hey guys, great video, I like that bottle too. Glenfiddich 21 Rum Cask. I mean, every time. And so, you know, I, so, always, I always see them on some, all subliminal my... Subliminal messages Every work. time I'm on a live. They, they do. Watching. So, well, and it, it doesn't no, hurt that this was probably a pretty decent bottle. So, we'll pick it up and review it and be happy that it's on the bar. So, we are... I'm very excited about that. I mean... Yep. It's well, you of, you liked the Balvenie uh, a fourteen, yeah. yeah, and so this will be the uh, I think that's the only other rum cask finish one that we've ever done. Yeah, uh, so that that'll be a fun bottle to review, and I'm looking forward to that one. So, what's in front of the screen blocking our view? Loop. Oh, I didn't see that. How about that? No or did you see? We're all falling off? apart today. Can't help it. <laughs> Ooh. What's Bob that? H is doing a flight streak. McAllen editions two, three, and four, and Glenn Goyne eighteen, twenty one, and twenty five. Holy oh. cow! How many people do you have in your place? That Jeez. just sounds like a. It's just him. That sounds. Well, you need to invite us over uh, or send us some samples, and we'll, we'll do it well, online. Not gonna lie, I would totally That's be doing awesome. that. That's two, gonna be three, interesting. Three, I'd like to see your notes on that one. The um, I was actually, you know, we've done the, we, we released the McAllen. <laughs> Edition two and three, right? Yep. We, we got trying to find the four, yeah. um, but I actually really like the two and yeah. the three. The two, the two, the two is better than three, in my view. But the two, yeah, they're both good. I, I, all I mean, I've I'm read is that the four. the four is better than all. I'm three, really. I'm three quarters of a way mm -hmm. through the blog post on the McAllen edition. Oh really? Oh yeah. Right. yeah. Good. So. Uh, I did see that Bob said that KB and Bob were going to do a flight one day at oh, Tamdu okay. one, two, and three. Uh, in December. And you know what's funny? <laughs> we were actually talking about that last night. We were. Because we've got a bottle of uh -oh. one and a bottle of three, and I saw a bottle of two online the this other day. Forever. And I thought, you know what? We should probably, like, why would we do one and three and not two? Well, exactly. I remember two being pretty tasty. I would I would drink another bottle of that, right? Yeah. So that, that may end up being a thing. But uh, plus Tamdu does it right. 
We might as well throw in a bottle of the regular stuff while we're at it, right? <laughs> so there are a lot of good comments going through. I, we need to maybe catch up a little bit. Um, yeah. Ooh, cigar malt for uh, Skacks for Geniuses. Good call, sir. There you go. That's a decent one. Ooh, here's some. Oh, Dalmore? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Is that my wife? Yeah. With wild turkey, yeah. So my wife was drinking her classic wild turkey, you know. 101? 101. Sweet. Oh, look at Telex's post. He's got all four coins on his. Drinking, what's he drinking? Can't read that, can you? Back it up. Make it Bunaha. It says Bunaha, I Bunaha. think. Yeah. Yep. All right, so uh, other singletons. No, we don't have any of the other singletons. The only singleton we have is the Glendolen. Um, so that that is all we've tried so far. That's all we've seen around here re- recently. So I have seen the 15. Have you? Yeah. Was it $5? <laughs> so they didn't buy it. That's right, you saw it. Yeah. Did you see that locally? Okay. By, by Glen Dolan or different distiller? Glen Dolan. Okay. Oh, Bob says, uh, be happy to do the TAM do one, two, and three on uh, December 4th. Well, we may have to do that a day before because December 4th. We, we may have to get here like a week before. <laughs> we, we need an oxygen bar. Oh, my God. That's going to be nuts. That's going to be so crazy. You just got to do it. Like Vegas and New York. <laughs> New York, New York. Stay there. I mean, at, at some point, you just got to roll. <laughs> right? It'd be all right. Well, so, Hoagie, where have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. You've been doing all right, bud. You still, I'm assuming you're still drinking scotch like crazy and getting some good collection stuff, but I uh, haven't heard from you for a while. So, hopefully, you're doing all right. So I've got it's some, early in uh, Germany. It was. Yeah, so, I get that. But, I mean, even comments, I haven't seen them comment for a while. So yeah, just, I haven't seen them on any of them. So, uh, Lee's doing with the Oban Distillers Edition. She's drinking that. Okay. Um, Everwind is a mini Glenlivet 12. Eh, it's not the worst of the world. What was um, that? Glenlivet 12? Yeah. Okay. A mini one. Yeah. So, no, we're not endorsed by Nike yet. We're working on it. See what we can do. Is, <laughs> is that a, uh, if that's an option, I'm all I'm over that. Sure, that one. But. That would be nice. We, we do have performance livers. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> see, the, you, see, these are these are the wicking fabric, so it wicks out the, the alcohol. Heck yeah, yeah. It wicks the alcohol out. That's what you awesome. need, man. Thicker wicking. <laughs> Where, I'm wearing my drinking shoes. So Lee is Lee is <laughs> Lee just joined the SMWS. Yep. Which, oh, really? And so she's talking to cool. some some of them as well. Yep. We need to, actually we were talking about that last week with Mark. Uh, well, we will be having a SMWS bottle next week on the live show. Oh yes. And, Mark has been hoarding it and not, not wanting us it's to get anywhere near I think it is awesome and fitting that that's the bottle. <laughs> that so the, the thing is we also need to talk open. through is who's going to be on next week. Yes. So is we have Whiskey Go Girl is coming mm-hmm. on. To, Whiskey Go Girl. She's huge on Instagram. Yep. Thousands of, of Instagram followers. And um, just she's busy in the whiskey industry doing, you know, opening up Lots whiskey bars, doing all sorts of stuff. And so we were lucky to get some of her time we're going to talk through we're going to that's the bottle we're going to open she's got a, cop, a bottle of that as well we're going to do a combined discussion on it yep and nice. we're also going to be talking about a australian single malt yes yeah, she's sending us some samples of that as well so yep. we're going to so be trying we've never that done out. australian no so we've never gone australian <laughs> let's all guess sean's score on the 10 px with his facial reaction <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna poker face it that just because of that how about that it was good I don't think you, I think you rated it pretty high, but it wasn't like it's not a four. Blowing out the water, man. That, no, we didn't give it a four. I'll leave a little sneak peek. That's pizza. pretty damn good. It was good. Though. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, actually, so we do have an infinity bottle. Where'd it go? I don't know. To my house. Okay, oh. then that's where it's gone. But yeah, it's, I was gonna. We were gonna send a sample to somebody. And no. Have done yet. It's. I think it's full. It's, it's ready, ready to. It's probably ready to open. We need to bring it out and. Uh, you know the, yeah. the thing about that we we did. We did take a sample of it, and we added some a little different to kind of round out the flavor a little better. Probably violated the rules of the Infinity Bottle. Ah, but. rules. Who needs <laughs> <laughs> rules? Yeah, that's true. All right, Hoagie. I figure as much, bud. I mean, you know, just the fact that you're on our show now. and you're, it, We appreciate it. You're the man, dude. You've been with us two years. It's just good to see you. Almost three years, yeah. Yeah. One of the first ones. You've been with us for the, since the beginning, really. It's going to be three years coming up. I know. I feel like when we go to Scotland, you're going to have to meet us there. So everyone says he saw a Mortlock 12 coming out. Um, the reviews are very positive. I, you know I'm okay for that. Yeah, I would I would choke down a Mortlock. Not going not gonna to turn it down. 3.5, Bob. 
So what, I'm not gonna ruin it for you. We'll wait till the review comes out. I'll tell you what that? we'll do now. Why, why don't we go ahead and do a little bit of scotch in the news? You Let's talk about it. That? Heck yeah. Little scotch in the news. So, I think I've told you guys that I I subscribe to a lot of industry stuff, um, and I get a lot of articles sent to me, which is kind of nice. And some some of it's ridiculous. Uh, some of it, on at first glance, seems ridiculous, and then I decide that it's maybe not ridiculous, like the. Uh, the Jello shot making machine that works like a Keurig. That's so <laughs> cool. Who I can't doesn't want one of those? At, I can't. Why, why it's got like to, pods and it makes them not? twenty at a time. Like that's I, like the best. Why would you not? They're coming into my place on Monday to Are do a demo and, and show me what's that's up. That's so awesome. So I, I know I'm, what you're gonna borrow on the weekends. <laughs> what day? I know it's not Scotch related, but that's pretty. That's cool. pretty cool. <laughs> and you're gonna your cocktail is gonna. You know who likes that the most. I'll wear a I'll wear a name tag of whoever is <laughs> just laying around, and I'll be like, "That's cool." So it, it's gonna be I, I don't know I don't know if it'll work out or not, but I, I, every once in a while a piece of equipment comes out in the industry that I'm like, "That just really? doesn't seem like, like a hey, Keith, piece of equipment." I saw one that was a uh, an restaurant. automated sushi rolling machine that no. did everything by itself and just cranked out sushi rolls like like mad. That was kind of fun. That'd be kind of no, it was it was cool, man. I mean, it was everything was very precise, and the Japanese made it. You know, they oh, yeah. it's all it's good, be well man. Yeah. It's not it's some been... it's not some hillbilly, and you know, <laughs> no, nah, it's it's precise. It Pre engineered, <laughs> exactly. You didn't try that. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Well, one of the things we wanted to talk about is so apparently the barley crop is taking a hit this that, year. Do you have that on there? The no, I can't crop. get that. So. Apparently, because of the heat wave that went through Europe and parts of the U.S. and Canada, yeah. uh, the barley crop's taken a nosedive, and it's down, they say, as much as 50%. 50%? Yeah. Wow. So where's so, the So the beer makers are the ones yeah, that are worried about it right now, but obviously that's yeah. going to affect yeah. some whiskey production. Yeah, we were doing or, some math mm-hmm. on that. So, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we were estimating, you know, if you, it takes 10 pounds of, of grain to make five gallons of beer, that's 4%. So essentially for every ounce of liquor, of, of alcohol you distill, you need two pounds of grain. So if you're making a million gallons of liquor a year, how many pounds of grain do you think you're going through? And if that price goes up 50%, ooh. Uh, it's it uh, could be significant. Uh, significant. So yeah, you know I, I I don't know how that'll all shake out. And sometimes you know before the harvest there's a lot of doom and gloom, and then they're like, well, it wasn't quite so bad, you know. But uh, yeah. it, it's definitely I, I hope that it doesn't affect adversely affect uh, my Scotch price. <laughs> I uh, I would be sad about that. Yeah. So that's something to keep in the back of your head a little bit. And then. Uh, there was a story on uh, BBC about um, last year. There was a record number of visits to Scotch distilleries. Um, so out of the hundred and twenty some distill, one hundred and twenty two operating distilleries, there's sixty six that have visitor centers that are open to the public, and there's another eight that are open by appointment only. So you, that gets you up to 74, right, out of the 122. So a, a decent percentage all, yeah. has uh, visitor centers. And the uh, does. the yeah. visits were up like 12% last One year, which year. is Oof. which is a lot. The scotch is super hot right now. So the, the brown liquors are really hot. Right yeah, now. and so they were talking a lot about, you know, just pushing the whole whiskey tourism. They're trying to make it more like, yeah. and even the Irish whiskeys are trying to make it more like the Bourbon Trail. Trying to get you know some of that tourism dollars coming in, trying to get people interested in it. You know, not just like crazy hardcore, you know, Scotch collectors, but like the average people. Like, why should they care about the distillery? Yeah. You know, and it, it's part of the history and culture. If you go down to Kentucky, you you can't really talk about the culture and the area without talking about. Bourbon and how it shaped part of the, the politics, the, you yeah. know, everything about the, the region. And Scotch is even more so because it's been there longer, yeah. you know. That, yeah. Just everything about it has shaped, you know, the land. So I, I think that it's interesting that they're really trying to push it. And, and they've got so many. I didn't realize they had that many visitor centers. I didn't yeah. realize that many distilleries were doing it, So, which is great. Is it 66, right? 66 plus 8 that are yeah. by appointment only. So, so I mean, that's Eric, a lot. One of the guys online, Eric was just over there this summer, and he mm-hmm. spent 
two weeks, I think, traveling around. I know he just released day eight of his tour, and he, he recorded videos for all of them. He's posting them on his, his channel. They're pretty good. All yeah. Of, yeah, all of them's really interesting. Yep. Kind of goes into it. a lot of information there. Yep. Really neat stuff. And he what knows he how to <laughs> give you information. Somebody okay. said that they had, Lee said he had sushi in West Virginia this past weekend. Never, ever do that. <laughs> <laughs> they are too far from the ocean to be making sushi. West Virginia is that far. <laughs> <laughs> there are these things called planes uh, that can get. You would be surprised. So, mm, yeah, uh, like in the 60s and 70s, it was a it was a big concern because they had to truck that stuff. Oh, how I've missed you. But, uh, I mean, I get, well, yeah. so uh, to give you an example of how fresh you can get the fish, my restaurant orders tuna from Hawaii. We have a guy named Frank. We call Frank up. We have to call him in the morning before noon, our time, uh, and Eastern time. And he goes down and picks the, suit, like picks the tuna that we want. He knows, yep. you know, we want uh, which grade we get. We tell him how much we want. He gets it taken care of, puts it in a box. So it comes off the boat. They get it in a box, and I have it the next morning. It was swimming in Hawaii yesterday when we wow, get it. Wow, that is absolutely That's crazy. how fresh that tuna is. So do it's you, possible to get s- good quality tuna stuff. Tuna steak? We do, do, we do tuna mignons, and we do sashimi. Um, I do a sandwich God, with that sashimi. tuna. God, I love uh, sashimi. So, I mean, you can... Yeah. West Virginia... <laughs> I, I don't know if I'd have catfish sushi, but uh, uh, no. I, I think it just depends on the place. Uh, my brother once called me, this was years ago, when he had just gotten out of college. He wasn't feeling so good because he got some sushi at the grocery store that was, like, discounted. Because it was, <laughs> Damn. I was like, you, there, there are things that you can buy that are, you know, borderline, but sushi is not one of those things. So, there you have it. Yeah. Yeah, that's not the best idea. Well, so we've had a couple requests for some games tonight. We don't really have anything in store normally that we go through, whether Hollywood Squares or Jeopardy or Quiz, whatever. But we are going to do Uh Guess That Grand. Oh, no. We have done that one for a few weeks. Are we doing this with Mike? Mike is going to do one tonight. Here's the thing. I am going to pick the dram for each one of these guys, and all three will be different. What? I hope mine's this. I hope mine's this. I can tell you what I'm after right now is drinking this cute book. And this is, I love this stuff. I forgot how good it is. It's so tasty. It's really good. It's got I, I had to slow down on my bottle because I think the next time I'll get up to Chicago is until Christmas. I'll be there next week. I know. Next week, Tom, I'm in Chicago. i got plans pretty much the entire time. Maybe we can hook up. Um, are you guys ready to do this? You guys yeah, man. This? Um, so no, I want sushi. So do we need to walk away? or You guys need to walk away. i got to pick some bottles out here to pour for each of you. Um, All right. So a- anything back there is up for grabs, right? That's yeah. the rules. Yeah, um, it's open. And so the way it works is I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to pour, and these guys are going to do the normal dram test, sniff, sniff, taste, whatever. So ask some questions. I'll do my best to kind of keep the basic ones yes or no to you. But feel free to ask comments, and I'll let the, you know. Bigger than a bread box? Do you have any water? Uh, I don't think, yeah. We do. So you guys want separate glasses? Do you get your glasses back right, here? Right there, brother. Okay, yeah, that's I yours. Need, that's I yours. Do it. I need to. All right, that keep it modest. Pour some in there. We know my gra- score, yeah. The thick one grand is good stuff. It's now, here's the other thing. What'd they say? You can't look at the chat until nope. you get back. You nope. Nope. All right, we'll close the Close the laptop for now or close it down for the yours, Mike. Okay, there's Mike. Andrew. <laughs> All right. All right. This is going to be fun. Come on, we go. Um, All right. What am I going to pick? Um, what do you guys think? What should we do? Which one should I do this one for? Like I'll put it right here. You guys can take a question for this one for. And we'll do. So our friend on the party said, like, maybe not a Friday. You know what I mean? Wait, he said, it's a Friday. Easy? What do you think? Yeah, 
there. And we'll do. We watched what we do in the shadows. This one as well. You guys think about these three bottles. Give me some talk, guys. What do you guys think? That was uh, Andrew for vampire this one, right? For the vampire okay. I'm just, you guys are delayed a little bit, so I'm assuming this is what you're talking about. So, okay. No, I'll talk about it. So, like, imagine right. right. So we got that one for Andrew. Oh my gosh! And there's four vampires that are living in a flat three. in his room. Yeah, the big brother of one of the vampires. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. There's a whole scene where they're getting ready to go out on town. <laughs> yeah, but that's not fair, Hoagie. Yeah, okay. Let's do. I'm afraid to do this one because I think it might be too easy. Right, we'll see. I'll do this one for Sean. Now, the last one, this guy, right? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that one, Moose. Um, This might be too obvious. Um, maybe we should do. Oh, I know what we should do. I got a good one. It might be enough to kind of fool him a little bit, right? It's twelve. You guys got all that stuff now? Hopefully you saw what I got in a second. All right. All right, guys, I'm ready. Hopefully you guys will help me out here. Remember, don't look at the comments. If you want to, just turn the iPad off for a second. The power is on. Bottom right. There you go. I'll look at this over here. All right. Okay. All right. So we got this is three light. separate whiskeys here for you to kind of talk through. Let me know. Somebody okay. you guys came in. Got nice color. Look at it. Don't even compare that. No, nobody's got they're, smoking. They're whiskey, right? I'm Maybe. checking to see how much is gone. I, I'm guessing that Mike got the uh, Ron Jeremy. <laughs> uh, Long and smooth. I really wanted to give him the big black, but I didn't do it. Because I thought that would be too obvious. All right, guys. So you saw... They, they helped me pick a couple of these. Um, Wolfburn. We'll see what it is. I smell McCallum. What do you got? Wolfburn. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> which one? Which one? Which one? Let me smell that. It's the... Uh, I was thinking they'd, he'd give me that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear that. What? Is this a McCallum? Uh, is it? Yeah, it is a McCallum. Which one? Oh, I, okay. I've got to pick which one. Okay, I haven't tasted it yet. I just got the nose on it. Um... How many do we have? Damn, that was quick, Sean. Seventeen eighty-three. How, how did you know? I, I, I can smell it. I know. Wolfburn, yeah. yeah. Oh, I know, man. Seventeen eighty-three. Seventeen eighty-three. What's that? Evan Williams. No. It's too light. God, it's or or were you really can, good to me? Because I could smell. Can I steal? <laughs> <laughs> So we got one winner. That was really quick. Um, I mean, he knows his wolf run, obviously. Um, so Molly I, wants to help you. It's lying. So Andrew's on top. He's on par with the, what he thinks. There's only one McAllen up here? Mine. Is it? I don't know. That's what I'm looking for. You sure it's McAllen? Yeah. <laughs> I need to try it. Any questions, Mike? Anything? That was, is it the nose, the, the smokiness? No, I, I knew and right the away. the look of it, too, right? I know well, and I've had enough of it to know. Oh, that one I can pick. Yeah, that's light. I, I thought it might be... That was fun, though. Yeah. I'm I'm super excited that I knew it right <laughs> yeah, away. Like, right off the bat. <laughs> I didn't even taste it. <laughs> I knew it by the nose. Three. Mine's not a sky. That's right. It's not, it's not as rich and full body as the Edition 2. That's why I'm... Yeah. It's mine, not a scotch. I'm not telling you that. You got. You me. said before that you. He said yes and legal. no. Anything on the anything on the bar? Yeah, yes and no. You can. That's true. Yes and no question. That's mine's not a scotch. Yeah, that's a statement. That's not a question. It, is, is mine it? not a scotch? Is mine not scotch? Is mine not scotch? 
Is it? Is, is it, it a scotch? Yes or no? No, it's not a scotch. I didn't think there so. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get past the. It's like, well, double. You could say double yes. Negative. Mike had to go to meet the teacher night tonight, so yeah. he's a little thrown off. <laughs> is it not and a scotch? Annoyed. He he had to he had to sit in a little desk like uh, the Blues Brothers and get beat with the ruler. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's too too easy to say whether what kind of. Well, there's a lot of whiskey on the bar. There it's beyond is. scotch. So to be fair, I had something that I thought you would get quickly, and I thought it was just too easy, so I changed my mind at the last minute for you. So called um, an audible. I did. So I'm kind of proud that I could pull out the Macallan nose. Like, you did yeah. it quick. I, both of you guys nailed it. I mean, maybe because. That was fairly recently, but... Um, well, and I, I'd forgotten which McCallum we had on the bar left, because uh, I didn't know if it was a double cask, or the addition to two or three, or even we 12. We have to this one again, too. I forget that. I know. Oh, That's yeah. so smooth, though. So it's not a high proof. It's not a high ABV. Mm. It's too smooth. Okay. What, you got? what kind of flavor uh, you got? This, 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 this is, is actually well. funny, because... We have been pressuring this guy for how long to do a video. He hasn't done it, right? Bruh. He's kind of doing it right now, a little bit. Pressure. Yes. So, so that so analytical talk mind. Talk about what you got. Think about it. You said smooth. What is it, what, were you nosing? What Low you ABV. Mean? Okay. Lower. Okay. This is what I love about having Scott for, in a group like this. You, can, you discuss and you, you analyze and you talk through and it's like, oh yeah, that's what I like about I this. I need you to look what back flavors? for a second and look back. What, what flavors are you are you getting? What, what, oh! Talk, talk, about, talk about flavors. What's the ABV? Don't look over here. I can't read. 43. I'm pretty sure. Be quiet about it. All right, don't look back at it. Because I know it's low because I've been so on a kick of... High proof. Yeah, cast strings and stuff like that, so... This so, is, this has absolutely no burn at all. Okay. So it's a smoother style yeah. whiskey. Yeah. Okay. Is it a bourbon? Do you get that corn influence, or is it some other kind of whiskey? Yeah, think about what's making up the the whiskey, right? Um, you know, it's probably. Is it but one the only problem I'm not four. getting is not that high like vanilla and wood. Okay. okay. So that's really throwing me off. So that would be a bourbon, right? Bourbons have the vanilla and wood mm -hmm. stuff in it. Oh, I know what it is, but I mean, yep. Because he's right. So no vanilla. So, so what? Are, what flavor? What are your or prominent uh, floral? Notes? Think think yep. about this. You're 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 getting too Sweet. specific. Think about the genres of whiskeys, right? They to me they always have some similarity of notes, like bourbons. I can get a bourbon for the most part. You get the corn. You get the. Oak, I can yeah. tell what it is. I, I can guess. tell. I hate to say this. Talk to me. Is it Irish? Yes. Dang! Look at <laughs> that! I knew it. I knew I that. Like, but see, that's why I smell. I smell Irish in that. Yeah, I, I, I smell butter. I smell... That creamy... Cream, mm -hmm. like a... So the triple distillation mm -hmm. really smooths out of it. Cream corn. Yeah. Right. Like... Cream corn. No. I know cream, cream corn. corn. <laughs> cream corn. See, cream... Yeah. You could be doing this on a... I don't know... Some sort of video format where you talk about hey, the whiskey, up. Good to see you, buddy. and then perhaps you you rate the whiskey according to how much you like the whiskey. Just gonna throw that but out. But it does it doesn't have that <laughs> sexton taste though. <laughs> All right, Tom. Are so you what's guys, our other Irish? Give give him some ideas here to help him out. I'll repeat it for him because I'm not seeing a whole lot of chat red breast. On this red yep. breast. Twelve. Yep. Yeah. Well, there's not a whole lot of scott, 40, or 40 Irish. Well, there's oh, Jameson, Jameson. There's twelve, but I think it's red breast because it has more. Jameson's got a very distinct, distinct Jameson taste. Yep. You got Whereas it. the red breast is yeah. smooth. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot smoother, a lot yeah. more buttery, or buttery, or, okay. and creamy. So you nice know, work. you know, whiskey's more than you realize. Nice work, man. You just analyze that out. That's awesome. Is that Walter cool. saying the Irish smell what? Yeah, I guess they do. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. not bad. <laughs> I could just drink them up. Love it. Andrew is a nerd. But I still want to. Oh, wanna, I'm totally a nerd. I, I admit it. That's my job is to be a I, st I hear the 12 cast rates. Well, Eric, you're totally right. Fantastic. So, Eric had a great comment. The texture of the Irish whiskey should be. Oh. And it does. Yeah. Yeah, it the, does. The triple it, distillation it's got, really changes it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hell, man. They say no more Kuboken once it's gone. What? What? Who said that? Scottish for geniuses. 
Oh, you're back. Did he disappear? Like, I... Moose said tequila for Sean. Yeah, oh. you missed out some good ones. Oh. Like, no, 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 no. oh. Give Mike the dimple pig. So I will say, Give Mike um, the dimple pig. yeah, nice job, guys. Everybody yeah. did a great job. Yeah. I mean, Sean and, and I, I feel like I gave you guys easy ones or something. I mean, when I put them out, I thought that we were good, and Tom, everybody else said it was pretty good. So I, I thought we stumped you guys a little bit. You guys did really well. Even Mike, that yeah. even ma- that makes me so curious about the twelve, the Red Breast twelve cast ring. Oh yeah, because I it did, like I said, it didn't have. I could tell it was low. So, Which I watch tons of videos by all these guys, right? And you know they always that's they, that's what they say they can tell when it's higher proof, and I can actually tell you what proof it is. Yeah, <laughs> I can yeah. get pretty damn he's, close. He's really close. Yeah, you can usually tell the ABV now that we've had enough of it. But I tell you, when I was in Scotland with Mark, and we didn't, we have I don't think we ever had the, the red breast at the all. cast ring or twelve. We didn't have really, 12, so we had it over there. Uh, for the first time, and we were so surprised how smooth it was, mm-hmm. right? Because I've had Jameson and a few other ones. It's like, mm, yeah, that's really good, right? And the yeah, cast strength nice is even that. smoother. Wow. So Man. you know what else is really good? Middleton. Middleton. Oh my god. Amazing. Yeah, the Middleton was Jeez. pretty good. Well, the Middleton was rare cast. Yeah. Very yeah, rare. It, is. it is. I very totally rare. want another. You're right, Tom. It is really good. Hey, wine light. Good to see you. So I don't know, uh, you know, Scotch for Geniuses, um, they didn't comment when we brought that bottle up above the bar. I don't know if he was online or he, he stepped out. I need to see it. Had we, we talked about what the, the delivery we'd received, but we hadn't talked about the, the additional bottle. We so, need to send him a, a picture of it. <laughs> Telex wants to know where his folks' fairies are. <laughs> he knows you so well. Dude. It wasn't on any of those. That, that's uh, that's going to be on the... Uh, the, is that the second Phil? The coins? second Phil coins, I think. Poach Bears? Right. So, um, so speaking of Telex and Whiskey Expo coming up, do we have a date on that one for uh, Indy? The, for Indy? Yeah. Uh, is it, is it October. September or October? October, October sometimes. So Telex came up last year. Are you, tell us, are you going to come up again this year? I'm, I'm curious to say, maybe we can do a little bit more promotion on it, but it would be cool to see some other people maybe come into town for it. And yeah, so maybe Malt Man Cave can come in for that. Sure. Um, he's in over in Ohio. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Get, we could get yeah. some. Multi- maybe Tom Mark can come down. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Right? Yeah. That would be awesome. Because we could, we could definitely we coordinate do, a little uh, group up and, and meet up there and, and drink some. Good yeah, let's go out together. to dinner beforehand. That's you know, a great that'd idea. That's a great idea, yeah. yeah. I know cool. a restaurant. Do you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> that has tuna. I got you. Super fresh. I'm pretty sure we could accommodate a, I mean, a, a rather large group. It's a small restaurant. I think so. we'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we got uh, how many people we have on? It seems uh, like we got a, uh, quite a few tonight. Pretty good, thirty-five-ish. Right on. So, so Scott Ford Jesus was on. He he saw the bottom. Right on. That's good, cool. man. I, we're excited to review that one, and we're very thankful that you got us. Does, he, got does us. he have? That's a, great. Does he have a? Videos. He so Keith, uh, I think we're yeah. Xbox friends now. I'll I'll, uh, I'll talk to you and we'll we'll get online for sure. And let you, you know, know hot drop. We'll hot drop it. Um, drop it like it's hot. Yeah. Just drop it like it's hot. Cougars. Anyway, I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll let you know the day and we'll get together on that because you totally need to come. You're like a couple hours I'm, away from. Yeah. Me. I'm all about the shenanigans. Yeah. Uh, actually, it, it really is a good time and it'd be a lot of fun to get a group of people going. <laughs> that, and that's the thing. Scotch so, genius is drunk. Yeah. Well, yeah. aren't we all? Um, so that's, you know that's who else needs to come? Tom R. Yes, he does. No. Tom Duh. R. Is three way, three I agree. Way. You yeah. you try you tried to get him on video and he won't do it. He he wants to know what the day is. Yeah. On video. So you know what? Actually, speaking of Tom, he had a great idea. So we don't really talk too much about it, but we have a Discord channel out there that mm-hmm. I'm on pretty much all the time. Uh, Tom's on. A few other people get on. Dram dudes on there quite a bit. Um, what? It's called the Discord. It's a Discord <laughs> server. So think of it like. Um, it's a, basically, it's a persistent chat room, which you can actually do voice and video calls on, but people just chat, and it's persistent, so it stays there forever, right? So you can talk, leave comments, eventually come, come back, back later, and reply yeah. to it. Um, so Tom said the other day that it'd be kind of cool to do some maybe little audio meetups in there and have this, you know, a couple of chats. Maybe we can start doing some of those as well. Kind of cool to do. Right? I'm all right with that. Cool. Yeah. Occasionally, we drink whiskey here. Yeah, once in a while. So would that be a patron only or uh, Thursdays at least? That's, uh, that's all I know. He, he said well, it's the third night in a row this week. Hilarious. My wife is not okay. not overly pleased <laughs> with our whiskey schedule this week, especially since it's back to school week and yeah, 
I change it to the month of everything I drink is water, except on Thursdays. Wow, you're a dedicated... Well, Drew and I had scotch on Tuesday because we were working on lighting issues. And then last night we did reviews... So interestingly, speaking of lighting, you guys um, will hopefully see, knock on wood, a major in, um, production increase in quality. Dude, this, this guy. It is looks great. Man. It yeah. does look so great. So I we we figure some stuff out. We yeah. we've been doing it all wrong for a while. We have. <laughs> what numbers do well, we have there? Surprisingly enough, not one of us is a professional Somebody photographer. So yeah. we did re- we did some research and we tried some things and we thought we were getting better and we have another number. every time we make changes quality gets better so we're we're making improvements Stewart got his challenge Stuart coin got his challenge coins very awesome yes. very cool very very cool oh man. you got a challenge coin look take a picture I've got two challenge coins Tom it's on October fifth apparently. I've got both my challenge coins. Look at you. You are that I carry always right ready. here. What, what flavor uh, you got today? I smell marzipan. Oh, marzipan. And my scotch test dummies. Just in case. Yeah. Just in case. <laughs> I didn't know if Scott uh, was going to be on, and then he'd ask me if I had it, and I'd say no, and I'd be like... I got uh, cask tube number 128. There you go. So uh, everyone asks about it. So if you go to every one of our videos for the last year i think has our discord link in our descriptions so if you go to any one of our videos look at the description towards the bottom of all the other links there's a discord you just click it and it'll open right to our channel there you go it's public it's public so it's, and honestly the i didn't know that either i had no idea about if it if we can so. get you guys in there it'd be great because like i said it's persistent chat so you can come in say something for a while go out you know snooze for a day or two that's not what i need to know at work seriously because I already get on like <laughs> whiskey throttles and malt, malted in Montreal's and everybody else's. I watch all day long when I, I have it on the on my phone on the side and I'm listening to it as I'm working. That's not what I need to know. I don't do any of that because now I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, the good thing is it's on your phone too, so you can just do it on your phone. So it's not even touching their IT devices. Yeah, I know. Some, somewhere there's sure. a boss like me that's like, what is this guy doing? So no what's the story? With I know, this right? Guy? What what do we know about it? Anything? It's orange. It's orange. It's the orange super thing. orange. Open the front and the back. It's bizarre. Are you is opening it, that it way? tonight? That way. No, no. I won't look at it. Thought Sean said oh, you're we opening, talk about opening it. Did we? Thought Sean said open it tonight. Oh, did he can if you want. I don't care. Look who you're what, talking what, to. What do you guys think? <laughs> you, <laughs> you said Give us open a thumbs it. up if we should open this and take a quick sample. Come on, everybody. Throw sample. Us, thumbs up. I'm not going to lie. I hope we get some thumbs five, up. Six, seven, eight, oh, nine, who's going to say no to that? 11, uh, I'm already rinsing my glass. I feel like we should You're wait. already rinsing your glass. We should wait for glass. Marky Mark, but he's not here. Now, I feel like Mark went fishing without us. I'll, right. I'll do this. Again. I'll do this, and then you can be like, just like Mark's here. Oh, hey, it's Mark. Hey, hey Mark. I got, oh. Tom's got a thumb up already. Oh, yeah. is this, is this That's sharp. enough for me. Is this foil tearing? Oh, it might be. Accidentally? Accidentally Oops. tearing? Whoops. Oh, All right. Whoops. We can try a glass. It's no different than the old Pony right? 21 Whoops. that I opened accidentally. Oh, whoops. Mm. Sorry about oh, that. that. They oh, told that. you to open. Oh, that's cool. That's fancy mountain top. There there you wood. There. You've All got right. one. Lights up. Triple caps up. There you go. There you Triple go. Moves. Scotch for Jesus gave us four. That's, that's so. the number one right there. there. As long as he says he gets four of them, so we're good to go. Oh, wow. Yeah. You pass her back. <laughs> uh, Did that rinse out? Yeah. There you go. I need some water. Yep, yep. Do one. Do not want to taste. Taint. I'm, I'm kind of because uh, it's been a while since we had the uh, yeah, the Balvenie like rum, Caribbean oh cask. Gosh. So it smells like rum. That was one of my favorite ones. Oh my god, beginning. bananas! Oh, speaking of Boom. Um, off the nose. Speaking Banana. of wow. beginning, I think we should go back and re-review the double wood. <laughs> okay. We haven't yeah. done that forever, and we got some videos the other that's day. That's the McCallum, It's like a number right? three. Or no, it's not. I think we got to re-review no, the Solera the cast, too. Solera would be good, too. Who's yeah, Because I haven't had that in forever, man. Uh, so I guess Glenn Finnick yes. did a Four different times. version of this oh where they did uh, a peated malt. What? And then, yeah. And then put it in the rum? And then put it in the so, rum cast, so but they used uh, South American rum. 
they used something that had a, a heavier profile to cut through the huh. the peat. So that's which the cool I was thing like, about this. none of that makes sense. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> but is, I'm kind of excited. It's about this. They they use their own like they have a select run they use. They, they don't just like brand. So you know what the nose on this bananas just pop uh-huh. out of there like every day and and. Uh, oh, sure Scott, does. Scott for Genius says, I peel mine. Yeah, you do peel it because it's totally Oh, man, it's so, like, tropical and banana. And, oh, that's What's awesome. the ABV on this? 40. It smells hotter than it is. <laughs> <laughs> Bob says, he's chugging in for Mark. You bastard. Yeah, yeah you, you know bad. he's saying that right now. He's going to watch this tomorrow, but, like, well, I'm not gonna say what he's gonna say. So uh, yeah, I've seen I've seen inf- information on that fire and cane. Yeah, that's I it. I want to totally get that fire and cane. That yep. sounds that's awesome. That's it. So we should, yeah, we should totally oh, get a bottle that of that. That smells so good. Oh gosh. Light. Did you try it? Nope, not yet. Triple cap. I'm gonna agree with you. I think if they would have bottled it at a higher proof, even 43 would have been better. This is, this 40. is 40. Yep. That's why you can taste the rum so much. It's totally light and clean. I mean, this is like, this is this is as opposite of a heavily peated as you can get. Finishing our own. You know what's interesting? Rum cast. I'm not gonna lie; it tastes a little watered down. It does, but it has a top or a kicker of sweetness that is still staying there. It's like hanging on. And it's, yeah. it's very enjoyable, actually. Uh, this like, was it's like really a really light. easy sipping. Glass. This is gonna be a fun one to review. To be honest with you, yeah, uh, I'm looking forward. I really to this. want to do it when I have a cleaner palate too, and not some other stuff. I'm yeah, here. yeah, but we've I, had some smoke and we've had all kinds of stuff. So, but uh, yeah, wow, well, this is <laughs> Scotch for geniuses says you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay, so now I guess we need your next suggestion because you know oh, we've done this. So, so you can't. Do you, you guys it, hear uh, about whiskey and think I don't ever want to try that? Yes. I'm, I'm thinking the one that they're doing in the Tabasco casks. Oh, yeah. Who did that? Jim Beam? No, Dickel. Yeah. Dickel, yeah. I yeah. Still I, I don't know. I would try Like I'm we not, talked about no before, we talked it. about this. In a good Bloody Mary. Yes. I'll bet it's fantastic. It's oddly specific. Yes. But you're right. that's probably, <laughs> you're you probably could not sit and pour... No, you like this? No way. And drink it? Well, but then there are people that can sit there and pop jalapenos and pop peppercinis. I, uh, and I have a hot pepper garlic vodka that we're doing a Bloody Mary with. Mm, yeah. Well, I mean, even the like the, oh, the absolute pepper vodka, Yeah. That, that's got one purpose. Yeah. And that's Bloody Mary. Yeah. That's the only value. So, uh, I don't know. That's I mean, the only thing I can think of. I don't like Tabasco you, that you, much. You throw... This is delicious. And this is one I think you can pour. Let's I, sit, I would I would say that there's just in general like a regular whiskey. There's not a whole lot that I can think of that I'm like I wouldn't try that. That's correct. You know. Now there are some that I'm like, yeah, it's probably not worth the money, or I'm just not as impressed with it as that. You know, it, it could have been better, or just you know, execution wasn't great. But I'll try them. I'm I'm not afraid to try a, pretty um, much anything. A comparison with this and the 18 Glenfiddich. Yep, totally. And that's got total bananas and everything yep. else in it too. I think that'd be well, kind of a cool comparison. Now this is obviously mm. this is twenty one. Eric, I would say yeah, I I can see this as a summer whiskey. Yeah, yeah you yeah, know, sure. it, I mean it, it's well, I mean yeah, yeah, definitely a neat summer whiskey. I, yeah. If you put water, I'm afraid water ice. Would I wouldn't totally wash it out. Could, I like, wouldn't put water. This on is it. one of those ones where you could probably drink two or three glasses and oh, I don't know it's, it's so it's easy. Wild. Yeah, and it's just it's it's, so it's very smooth. Yeah, I, I so, actually like this. Uh, Telex, I haven't seen you on for a second. I'm, I'm assuming you're going live tonight. Uh, we've got a few more minutes left. What What's on your show tonight? What are, what are you doing for us tonight? What <laughs> you got? I think you're doing Buna Haven, perhaps? Oh, Stuart Peel got a Mac edition for. Yeah, yeah. find a bottle of that. We do. It's hard to find it, here. It's in every single Benny's. That's why I want to I I give you money. I will go next week. I want you to pick me up one. One of those? Yeah. Is that the only one you want? Yep. Okay. If they have an additional one just sitting around, you can grab one of those, too. Okay. <laughs> uh, Bob, H., Bob H. is throwing shade on Glenn Fitter 21. Oh. Not worth the premium coin. Mm. Uh, I I got a pretty good deal on this. Well, so the, other, the other thing to consider is, yeah, you know, you talk about will you try anything. I think, I think we've learned through our journey through Scotch 
that every whiskey has a purpose. You know, if you're a master distiller at um, Jack Daniels, you're not trying to make a neat whiskey. The, the purpose of Jack Daniels, old number seven, is is a certain mixing, blending, Coke, you know, Jack and Coke, those kind of things. Yeah. But it doesn't mean it's not worth trying. Because right. everything has a purpose. It's And they're just coming out with the bottle and bond. And we talked about bond. it I mean, everything earlier. is good in its own way, served right. Yeah, so you, it, it has a purpose. Yeah. So... Uh, we should probably talk about uh, Telex and what he's got coming yeah, what's up. What's going on? I know he's got uh, Kennedy 23. England Glosso Portwood. Portwood. Both of those sound good, and I we haven't had either one. No. So we'll have to tune in to Telex and see what's up with that. we got a couple more minutes, guys. Uh, some parting words, if you will. Well, so Chad Adams had a Lafroy 10 in a Bloody Mary. I actually had a Lafroy 10 in an Old Fashioned. That's oh, fantastic as well. That sounds good. Because you get that sweetness of all the sugar and all that kind of thing, and then you put, hey, you had that smoke in there, the bitters and the, the smoke and the sweetness. I think it's a bloody really Mary would be better, though, mm, smokiness. Depends. Personally. It depends what you're looking for. Nothing, nothing beats the bloody Marys. Hard bag and oysters. Out in uh, that <laughs> Oh, yeah. We should totally go back and do that again. Yep. Hey, thank you, Steve. Appreciate Steve, it. Thank you. Thank, you. You. thank you very much. Appreciate you. I'm going to enjoy that with this. Uh... I will say, let's close off the show with another big hearty thanks to Scotch for Geniuses for the great packages this week. Yep. Obviously, we're partaking already. We love it. Yep. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing the 21 rum cast that we're drinking right now. Which is review. what we're drinking right now. Yep. Um, that's going to be awesome. Uh, we've got um, two good reviews coming out next week. Um, I can't really say because I want to keep it a surprise, yep. but they're really good. Um, we got coins for sale if you don't know yet. Coins, the, lots of numbers still available. Yep. Pick one, pick two, pick four, whatever you want. And, and uh, bottle hangers are out there now. We have bottle hangers available. So, yeah, if you've seen our bottle hangers, we finally uh, put them on the website for sale, $5. And, and we, we actually sold out of our first batch, oh so God, we're, we're making batch number two. Yeah, so we, we need to make some more. I need to get some, some whiskey staves from him, and we need to start... The, yeah. the cool things about those is that they're us. 100%. Yeah. We made them everything about them. Yeah. So. yeah. We're actually sitting on the barrel staves that these come from. So, <laughs> yeah. so it's pretty and, cool. and the hats are coming soon, too. So Yeah, so we're, we're working through the hats. Probably this logo is going to be on them. They're not probably all going to be Nike, but we'll see. Katie, he's still got another hour in them. So he's not coming home yet. We, we got a movie to watch. That's right. I got something I got something queued up already. Uh-oh. <laughs> And, and you I brought pretzels. And, and I brought pretzels. And Molly's been waiting. So there's that. <laughs> Molly can. If anybody Molly wants can. to make fun of me, they can email me at bourbon shenanigans at gmail.com. And, uh, you should email him and tell him to make a We video. should probably put some kind of pull out there of his first video. Are you going to do something like this year? What's, what's, what kind of pressure can we keep You can shoot it right here. We got, yes, we got equipment and everything, man. You got something in line? I, you I, figured I it have out? Figured out a little something. Okay. Okay. Oh. okay. It's going to be... Because i got a whole new series coming out. Uh-oh. You do? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Can't wait to get it out there. You're killing me, small. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and turn it over to Telex. Uh, guys, thanks yep. so much for watching. Appreciate Next it. Next week is uh, Whiskey O Go Girl. Yep, yep. So, so make sure, sure you guys tune in for that. That'll Mark be a good one. Tell your friends. It'll be, good. It'll be awesome. Yeah, yeah, that'll be a great show. Wheelhouse. I'm, wheelhouse. I'm sadly in. Uh, See you guys. Have a great weekend. Cheers. I'm going to need some.